Hello Libra, welcome to your general reading for the week. Let's go ahead and get started. Um, keep in mind that this is a general reading, which means that it's not going to resonate for every single one of you. But, you know, um, that's why you, you just got to take what resonates, keep an open mind. Um, don't forget that energies are interchangeable, which means that it's not gender specific. And time is fluid, okay? So you're meant to see this when you're meant to see this. Ooh. All right, Libra. This is a strong card. For your current energies, you got the cat spirit. And it says, claim your independence. I don't know. I feel like this is pretty self-explanatory, right? I feel like you are... Stepping into a world... Um, that is a bit scary, a little bit unknown. I'm hearing like unknown territory. Um, yeah, and with the cat spirit, they're very territorial, right? Cats are very territorial. But it's like you're venturing off into a, a new territory. Um, <clears throat> I get this feeling that you're leaving something or someone behind or you could be leaving multiple people behind I just feel like there's this huge shift in energy like it's almost like you've made the conscious decision to move forward in your life and not look back. I mean, obviously you're looking back because, you know, I feel like, you see how there's a heart there? I feel like, you know, there are, there are people that you're gonna miss. It's interesting that with Libra readings, it, it, so far for me at least, it deals with like, you know, going, going someplace else. All right. Um, let's pull a few of these energy oracle cards, changing it up a little bit, changing up my readings, you know, because I can't keep doing the same reading all the time, because then it just gets a little boring. Uh, let's see. But I do hope that this reading resonates with you, okay? All right, universe, spirits, and guides. What can you tell me about the collective of Libra? They're claiming their independence. I'm hearing the word freedom or just, I just get this feeling that you're venturing off and doing, it's, it, it's almost like that feeling of like going to college for the first time, you know? That's what I'm getting. Look at this. You got the t uh, temple path. And this is kind of telling me that you're following what, you're following the path that was, was meant for you. You get what I'm saying? It's almost like you're following the path that um, spirit is guiding you to follow you know what i mean it's like you're following this um path to spirituality mm -hmm. there's a heightened awareness here yeah. and then you got patience you understand that this is something that's going to take time, right? And you are having to exercise patience, you know, currently. What else, spirit? Balancing your energy. Mm -hmm. That's what 
That's what Libra, Libra is all about balance, right? What else, Spirit? What else do we got for Libra? Look at that. Victory. So this talks about success, you know, attaining what you desire. You know, it could be money, it could be fame, it could be um, just happiness, you know, contentment, right? And I just feel like this is all part of your journey. This is all part of your growth. It's like you're following the path to spirit, to spirituality, and you're going to learn balance right it's like it's like you're meant to cross this path or you're meant to take this journey in order to find that inner peace within yourself like to find that calm sorry i'm a little congested <clears throat> and what that's gonna do in turn is it's gonna help you achieve your goals Right? Whatever that may be. For some of you, I see money. For some of you, I see gold, wealth. Um, and then for some of you, I see contentment. Like all around contentment. Just feeling like this feeling of bliss, you know, like not having to worry. All right, let's jump into the tarot. So for the main spread I'm going to use the wild unknown look at that the three of wands this talks about patience right waiting for something it talks about I almost get this feeling of like waiting for the right time to act waiting for it's like you see the opportunity it's like you see the the path you see the portal here and it's like you want to go through it but you're waiting for the right moment to go to step through you it's almost like you're waiting for that gate that portal to open up more you get what i'm saying let's see what else spirit universe spirits and guides what do we have for the collective of libra see what else seven of cups in reverse yeah it's like so the seven of cups talks about having a lot of options having a lot of opportunities presented to you but when it's in reverse to me it's like there's only one option right it's almost like you surrendered all the other options it's like you, you released all the other options and you're sticking with one, you know? Or it could be that you're surrendering your the choice uh, to the universe. You're surrendering your choice to the universe, like kind of saying, you know, I'm going to let the universe decide on this one. You know, kind of like Jesus take the wheel, right? Jesus take the wheel, take it from my hand. The Ten of Wands in reverse. So that talks about um, releasing burdens, okay? Uh, when it's in reverse like that. And I feel that you are letting go or cutting ties with certain uh, people that, you know, are in a, in a way um, holding you back, you know? Kind of like baggage, right? Um, even I, but I do still feel that there is a lot of love in your heart for these people. Look at that! Three of Wands. One has come out again. Yeah, because you see the opportunity. It's like you see the path. And now you're waiting for the right time to cross that path, to take that path. For some of you, I see you may possibly traveling overseas. 
but I do get the feeling of travel. Okay, so the tower wanted to come out in reverse. So this talks about waiting for um, a tower moment to happen. There's still, uh, um, there's still, when that when that card comes up in reverse, it's like there's still um, some kind of epiphany or some kind of like enlightenment that needs to happen before. Um, and this and and this doesn't necessarily mean like on your on your part. This could be talking about you know other people in in your circle, right? Yeah. See, judgment in reverse. There's still okay. It's like spirit. Spirit is saying like you still need to have your awakening because with the tower in reverse. And the judgment card in reverse. <laughs> yes, there is a karmic cycle that needs to end, but I feel like this is with you. It's almost like you still, you're still, you still don't trust the process. <laughs> yeah, it, it's like you still haven't realized that it's gonna take trust. Like, it's gonna take you completely trusting the situation and just taking that leap of faith and going for it, you know? Because as humans, we are programmed to run away from anything that scares us, right? But when you're able to go against that, when you're able to say, you know what, this is scary as shit, but I'm just gonna do it. That's when the universe like rewards you. You know what I mean? Like it's almost like the universe is like proud of you for taking taking that step, taking that action, affirmative action. Six of Wands. This talks about, um, Victory, look, and it's interesting that, it, you know, because this card popped up too, the victory card, and it's kind of like, that kind of looks like a butterfly to me, even though it's a wreath. Or what do they call those? Crowns? Flower ornament? Head ornament? I don't know. But that kind of looks like a butterfly. <laughs> and the thing is, with this card is, you know, not only will you be victorious, not only will you, um, I get this feeling of like you exuding confidence. Um, a, there's a transformation with that card because of the butterfly, but it's more like you showing up, right? You showing up for not only for um, others, but you showing up for yourself. And I get more of a sense of like you're the transformation within you still has yet to happen. It's like there's a certain level of confidence that needs to um, come through here in order for you to have your um, tower moment, in order, in order for you to have your epiphany. Yeah, but um, the six of the six of wands could also talk about travel. Um, it could talk about and look, the butterfly is flying. Like you could be flying to a new location. I hear I'm hearing um, leaving on a jet plane by Tita Paul and Mary. I'm leaving on a jet plane I don't know when I'll be back again Oh babe, I hate to go <laughs> I love that song Well sometimes I la, 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 la. <laughs> I hate to wake you up to say goodbye 
<laughs> Donna said, see what you started, Libra? Mother of Pentacles, interesting. Hmm. Oh. You see, what's interesting with this card, so this card could talk about stability, right? It could talk about um, financial wealth um, and abundance. This could also talk about like a someone who's very nurturing, very loving, very caring. Um, take, well, you know, however way it resonates for you, it could be a motherly figure, right? Um, but what I'm picking up is that, like, this is you, right here. I feel like you're this little baby deer. What do they call it? A doe? No, uh, baby, a joe, a joe, right? This is you, you're the little joe. Joey. Is that Joey? Anyways, but I don't know. There's this feeling of like being at home with somebody, with this person, this motherly figure, and just feeling content, right? So I don't know if this somehow plays a role. And you know, this, this could be fatherly too. Like take, remember, it's not gender specific, so take what resonates. But I feel like there is something about this that is strong. Like this card is giving me a lot of strong energy. Almost like, for some of you, it could be that you don't want to leave this person. Like this could be the person that it's like you're having trouble leaving. Or for some of you, this could be the person that you are heading towards, right? That you're going towards. You're going towards a loving, nurturing connection. Let's see, what else, Spirit? What else do you have for me? <clears throat> Cause I'm leaving on a jet plane. I don't know when I'll be back again. Oh, babe, I hate to go. Let's see. Ooh, three cards. All right. You ready for this, Libra? Six of Cups. This talks about nostalgia. Okay. This talks about um, something something resurfacing from the past, something or someone, and it's tied next to the Queen of Pentacles. So this could be a person from your past. This could very much be like your childhood. Like you could be going back home to your mom <laughs> or your parents, right? You could be going back home to your parents. Yeah, two of wands, making the decision, taking the path choosing which path to go down and sticking to it. That's what this card is talking about. Interesting that it's, there's a rainbow effect here. That's, that's sticking out to me. I don't know. There's lots of rainbow going on. There's lots of color. Yeah, Daughter of Wands. So this card talks about um, good news forthcoming. Like, it could talk about a message, like waiting for a message. You know, the Daughter of Wands or the Page of Wands is the messenger card, okay? And, um, okay, it's like Spirit is saying like, There's good news coming in for you, or mm, whatever this path that you've chosen will bring good luck. Good. Uh, it, I'm I'm mostly just getting like this path that you that you choose will be good for you.
you know, the Daughter of Wands could also be talking about um, news of a of engagement. I don't know. Father of Swords. So you're trying to be logical. Yeah. That's why you're on the fence about it, is because you're trying to be, you're trying to make the right decision uh, based off of the situation. It's like you want to be sh certain that you make the right choice. Um, and there's a there's an uncertainty in that and i feel like that's you're trying to be smart about it if you're weighing out the pros and cons it's interesting that the two of wands is right below the three of wands here it's like you've made a decision and you're going for it and now you're just waiting for the right time I, I think I'm going to have to clarify the Daughter of Wands later. Yeah, look at this. The star card. You could be a star. Or the card talks about, you know, um, get, like, this is something that, like, you really wish for. Like, this is something that you've been wanting for the longest time or something that you've been um, yearning for, right? Um, and it's like you, and it's like it's, it's happening, you know? But there's still that part of you that is a little bit detached because you don't want to make the wrong the wrong move. Yeah, bottom of the deck. Excuse me, the ten of swords in reverse. This tells me that you're just done. You know, you're done. You're ready for a new beginning. You're ready for this cycle to end. Yeah, see. Look at this. Under that was the world. This talks about completion. It talks about travel it talks about separation um but ultimately with the ten of swords it's like there's a cycle here that needs to end and i think it starts with you libra right it starts with you making that decision and going for it look the three of cups this talks about getting together with um, friends and family loved ones and having a reason to celebrate right Mm-hmm. Yeah. I just get this feeling that you want to be happy. You want to do, you want to go for what makes you happy. But there's still that part of you that's scared. Because, because you're scared of the unknown. You're scared of making this decision and it biting you in the ass later. I mean, that's the truth, right? But I'm gonna have to clarify this Daughter of Wands because for some reason, I can't get a good read on this card. Um, the, to me, it's like, the in ge generally speaking, this card talks about good news forthcoming, but let me clarify. So I'm gonna use, um, <clears throat> For Libra, I think I'm gonna use the Rider Waite tarot deck to clarify. Look, Ace of Swords. This talks about clarity. This talks about victory, success. Victory keeps coming up for you. Um, in terms of this situation, Libra, it's like, Spirit is almost, I hear Spirit saying like, come on Libra, what's taking you so long? <laughs> 
<laughs> it's like get a move on already libra <laughs> but i know i get it though it's this is i feel like whatever this situation is it's a major it's gonna be a major shift for you it's gonna be a major transition for you and of course i would be scared about it you know so I'm just I'm just messing with you. Um, let's see. Let's clarify this daughter of uh, wands, and then I'll get an outcome for you, okay? And then we'll close out this reading. Uh, daughter of wands. Why is the daughter of wands here? Tell me more about the daughter of wands, spirit. Universe, spirits, and guides. Tell me more about the daughter of wands. Why is it here? Can you tell me? What can you tell me about the daughter of wands? Feel free to uh, fast forward when I shuffle too, because sometimes it takes a long time. What can you show me about the Daughter of Wands, Universe, Spirits, and Guides? Okay, so Ace of Pentacles. So this is an opportunity for you. Whatever this transition period, whatever this move is, presents an opportunity for you. Um, and I'm hearing, um, happiness it's like an opportunity for you to be happier um could be talking about marriage why look at that ace of cups new beginning in love emotion wow you got the ace of cups and the ace of pentacles there's de there's definitely a new beginning here for you libra um and with the Ace of Cups and the Ace of Pentacles, it's like, you know, not only is it going to be emotional, a new beginning of an emotional nature, like you could be dealing with love, you could be, or you could just be dealing with like, not necessarily romantic love, but like uncon learning like unconditional love, right, from somebody, right, I don't know. Take it as it resonates. And, but there could also be a solid opportunity for you career-wise, too. This is crazy. You got two aces? Anything else for the Daughter of Wands? Mm, that's too many. Okay, they're telling me to take these two. Look at that. The world, again. It's like, whatever this is, it's going to complete you. But then you got the King of Cups in reverse. And that's telling me that, you know, your emotions are kind of playing a huge part in this. It's almost like your emotions are holding you back, Libra. It's that fear. It's that anxiety. It's that feeling of, like, uh, guilt, I guess. And we gotta let that shit go, Libra. I'm sorry to say it like that, but this is, I feel like this is a huge opportunity for you. With, like, these cards don't just pop out for nothing. Like, this is a huge opportunity for you, Libra. And I don't, I don't understand why you're still on the fence about this. <laughs> I'm sorry. If this was me, I would have been, I would have jumped on that a long time ago. Because <laughs> you got the, not only do you have the six of uh, wands, but you also have the star right under it. That's like public recognition, you know, that's like fame. That's like, um, I don't know, it, take it as it resonates, but it just talks about success and being, um, being victorious, you know. All right, let's get a most likely outcome here. What is the most likely outcome for Libra, Universe, Spirits, and Guides? What is the most likely outcome in this time and moment, in this moment of time? You know, because outcomes can change because we all have free will, right? Like, this reading might tell me that you're going to decide to go for it, but if you decide to change that, that's all up to you. Let's see. <clears throat> Universe, spirits, and guides, what do we got? What is the most likely outcome for Libra? 
in regards to this situation. Whoa. Okay, bottom of the deck, King of Wands. So this talks about um, going after what you want and getting it, right? The King of Wands, like, he doesn't play around. You know, when he sees what he wants, he goes after it. And I feel like this is your energy, Libra. I feel like this is uh, you deciding that you're gonna you're gonna go for this. So you got the Page of Pentacles. You got the tower in reverse again. So you, and then you got the seven of wands. And what's that, what that's telling me, Libra, <sighs> Libra, 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 what am I gonna do with you? <laughs> Let me get another card because what that's saying is like, there's still gonna be a reluctance. It, you're fighting, it's almost like you're fighting yourself. You're gonna continue to fight yourself for a while about this whole situation. Um, because the opportunity, it's like the opportunity is presenting itself to you. It's like spirit is saying, here, take it. But then you're just like, ah, I don't know. Uh, let me think about it some more. <laughs> you know, and and so it, that's just what I'm feeling. You see, look at this. Look, you got the Seven of Swords in reverse along with the Knight of Pentacles. Yeah, it, Spirit is kind of just, you know, repeating it over and over in my head. Like, as long as you continue to wear this mask, as long as you continue to pretend like you don't want you don't want this or as long as you continue to fight yourself on this and just um you know remain in denial about the fact that this I mean I don't know I just get this feeling of like you're not wanting it's like you want to take this opportunity and you want to make this uh, change, but you're just so, like you're just really scared to do so. And it's like you're sitting there thinking and thinking and thinking about how this can possibly go. But what that's doing is it's making this opportunity drag out even longer. You see, because the Knight of Pentacles is like, it's a solid opportunity, but it's slow. It's very slow moving. It's like, you know, eventually it'll get there. And it's almost, it almost seems like spirit is, it almost seems like you're setting yourself up for spirit to, to really um, give you a kick in the ass. <laughs> I'm sorry to put it that way, but it but that's what happens, you know, when when you resist the universe, when you continue to resist the universe and what the universe is trying to tell you, eventually the universe will give you a swift kick in the ass and be like, you need to get you need to get your shit together. You need to get going on that. And what I mean by that is like <sighs> the universe has uh, ways of making things happen to us that we have no control over and the longer you the longer you resist this um situation the longer you resist uh this move this transition the universe is gonna make things happen to force you to move does that make sense like the universe is gonna make people behave certain ways make people do certain things and it's gonna align things up to make it happen for you because deep down you really want this but you're di but you are fighting yourself about it that's that's what i'm feeling and it's like you either one way or another you're gonna have a tower moment and i 
I highly suggest that you get that tower moment out of the way now so that you can go on and live your dreams, right? Oh, but look, eight of cups on, or eight of pentacles on the bottom of the deck. It's like you're pl it's like you not only are you waiting for the right time, but you're also like it's like you are working on improving your skills, you know, mastering your craft, right? And you're putting time into planning. It's like yeah, it's like I said, you just want all the pieces to be there. You want you want to make sure that this is going to be the right move. But it's like spirit is saying, yo, how many times do I got to tell you that this is the right move? <laughs> all right, let's close out this reading because we're already at 36 minutes. Okay, Libra, I feel like you have to go for this. Uh, and I hope this is the last time that we <laughs> that we have to bring up this subject. <laughs> Let's pull an animal oracle card. I want to get um, advice from spirit for you, okay? What advice do we have for Libra moving forward? What advice do we have for Libra moving forward? Yeah, it's going to take some time. It's going to take patience. I get it. I get it. You know, it's not something that you can easily just do. But <clears throat> I'm just saying, you know, the grass is greener on the other side. It's not just a story we tell ourselves. Give me that back. Yeah, see this? Okay. Spirit wanted you to see these two cards. Peacock Spirit. It says, let it shine. You know, you see how that peacock's heart is shining? Where you, let your heart shine. For some of you, this could be like you could be a performer, but <clears throat> it's like don't be afraid to go after what you want. Be yourself, right? Don't be afraid to show your your colors. Don't be afraid to um, to be victorious, right? In regards to the situation, and look. You got the buffalo spirit. It says the abundant universe will provide. You know, that's that's a reassurance from spirit. It's like, take this leap of faith and know that the universe will provide for you as needed. So even though it, things seem scary, when you, when you decide to take this leap of faith, the universe is gonna support you 100%, uh, okay? one way or another. So it's like, once you take that worry out, you can you can move forward completely and understand that spirit is going to provide you with the things that you need, okay? Don't be afraid to shine. Don't be afraid to shine. Don't be afraid to go after what you want. All right, Libra? Okay, Libra, that's all the time I have for you today. I hope this reading really resonated with you. If it did, please click the like button down below. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Um, if you would like to book a personal reading, my email is in the description box below. And until next time, Libra, I will see you later. Bye.